want to be happier, then stop doing these five things right now. Happiness isn't something that you can buy in a store. Rather, it is removing, not adding. Consider, for example, what happens when you stop doing the following things. Blaming. People make mistakes. Employees don't meet your expectations. Vendors doesn't deliver on time. So you blame them for your problem. Yes, sir. Kinuha ko lang naman Totoo po kasi inutos nyo po eh. Hindi ko pinakuha ko lang naman sa libro. Hindi ko naman po sinasadya. Bakit may yun si Rana? At saka wala naman po talaga ako inuwa. Basta kinuha ko lang po yung libro. Tas wala naman akong ginawa. Pasensya na po sir. Pinakuha ko lang sa ito. Tas ngayon. But you are also to blame. Maybe you didn't provide enough training. Maybe you didn't provide enough buffer. Maybe you ask too much. Or talagang ikaw talaga ang may kasalanan. Kaya kung ikaw may kasalanan, mag-sorry ka kahit boss ka pa. A true boss is a servant. He knows when he has a mistakes or not. Taking responsibility when things go wrong instead of blaming others isn't masochistic. <laughs> it's empowering. Because then you focus on doing things better and smarter next time. And when you get better or smarter, then you also get happier. <laughs> Number two, impressing. No one likes you for your clothes. Oksi jimpre, your car. Dadong, bibili ako sa tindahan. Ayusin ng limusin. Your possession, your title. You're talking to Matthew, the CEO of Masindu Corporation. Or your accomplishment. Salamat. Those are all things. People may like your things, but that doesn't mean that they like you. Sure, superficially they might seem to, but superficial is also insubstantial. And a relationship that is based on substance is not a real relationship. Genuine relationships makes you happier, and you'll only form genuine relationship when you stop trying to impress and start trying to be you. <laughs> Number three, interrupting. Interrupting isn't just rude. Hello? Oh, musta na? When you interrupt someone, what you're really saying is I'm not listening to you so that I can understand what you're saying. I'm not listening to you so that I can decide what to say. <laughs> Want people like you? Listen to what they say. Focus on what they say. Ask questions to make sure you understand what they say. And they'll love you for it. Number four, criticizing. Yeah, you're more educated. Ikaw na matalino. Yeah, you're more experienced. Ikaw na may experience. You climb more mountains. And you've slayed more dragons. Ikaw na nakapatid mga dragon. That doesn't make you smarter, or better, or more insightful. That just makes you, you. Unique, matchless, and one of a kind. Ikaw na. But in the end, just you. Just like everyone else. Everyone is different. Not better, not worse, just different. Learn to appreciate the differences instead of the shortcomings. And you'll see people, and you, in a better light. Huh. Last but not the least is Pritching. Criticizing has a brother. His name is Pritching. They share the same father. Judging. Weh. The higher you rise, the more you accomplish, the more likely you think you know everything. And to tell people everything you know, when you speak more finality than foundation, people may hear you but don't listen. Few things are sadder and leave you feeling less happy. These are the five things that you need to stop doing so that you can be happier. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hope you like it guys. Bye! Bye!